Hello and welcome to another 1967 Spud production here for YouTube. Um, what I'm hoping to show you today is my version and my way how I uh, molecule my bullets. I don't always do it this way, well I always do it this way but I don't always use molecule bullets because they're a bit of a faff uh, and not necessarily for hunting, they're not a necessity for more target shooting and long range stuff. Yes they may help, It's an argu there are arguments for and against the uh, process. But um, it's something else to learn and try and uh, see how you get on with it. Uh, one thing you have got to be wary of when using mollycoat bullets is uh, if you go back to normal standard unmollycoat bullets, you're going to need to clean your barrel very well because the, the two do not mix. Um, going from normal coated bullets to mollycoated is a far simpler than going back the other way. So put a little bit of thought into it. And I mean, there's a bit of work involved producing them. And there's also a bit of work involved with keeping your gun clean. And then if you want to go back to normal bullets, once again, clean them thoroughly. Anyway, molly should aid to barrel life with these uh, smaller calibers. Um, that's the theory. There's a, fours and ar uh, for, uh, arguments for and against it. Um, you need to shoot them, try them, and see how you get on and make your own mind up. Anyway, this is how you do it, and this is the equipment you're going to need. On the left-hand side, you can see a grey container. Um, this is the vessel in which we'll put the bol bullets and inside it's got some uh, graphite tips with which have been coated in molly um, in the process of molly coating what you do is you put these in the case tumbler which is on the right hand side just as is just a normal vibratory case tumbler I haven't got a rotary one the rotary ones are no, I wouldn't say better but they're certainly quieter um, you put the bullets inside the grey case put an elastic band on stop the uh, molly going everywhere because it's very dirty and that will stain everything anyway you put your bullets in there, put them in the tumbler and uh, tumble them for four or five hours whatever um, you'll see there that I've got some bullets in the middle they're the ones that we'll do today and you can also see some degreaser the bullets, the tips need to be clean uh, um, de and degreased if there's any if you're using hand swage bullets there could be foreman dyes you know uh, oils or waxes on there that needs to be off and they need to be degreased they need to be thoroughly clean so that's what you need um, I'll show you me loading the tumbler up now and um, and then we'll see what the end results are I mean it's literally just put the stuff in put a little bit of um, molly coating in there which is got put it in the tumbler turn the tumbler on and just walking away for four or five hours and then coming back and keeping an eye on it just remember though if you touch molly coated bullets you're going to get stained so either use latex gloves or plastic gloves or anything like that um, we'll see how we get on what I'm going to do is um, I'm now going to degrease these bullets I've got some 4 by 2 and I'll just spray on this has been shook there some de degreaser just rub that into there degrease everything else and then when I've degreased them, I'll drop them straight into the. Uh, I'll get a bit more too before because there's not enough there. Um, I'll drop them straight into the container, container the molecule. Then I haven't got to touch them. Right, so I'm shut the knife, hands off. Right, what can you? Can we work with? So I'll just pick them up, degrease them, and drop them in. That's all that need is that's all soup screen. Really. Obviously if you're doing a hundred or so it'll take a bit of a while. Right, they're all decreased. Close the lid up. It's got a fantastic lid on this, so what you have to do is get a bit of Mask and tape. Keep that sucker down. You see, it would make a horrendous mess. In the tumbler, lid on. So, just to recap, we've uh, Got the molly coating in the tub with uh, some graphite little beads that'll apply it, coat, apply the coating to the bullet. We we'll degrease them, put them in, and that's now four or five hours in here. Turn it on. We'll just 
just leave it like that. Give it four or five hours, we'll come back. Right, uh, let's see what we've got. So they've been in the case trembler now for about two or three hours. You can do longer, it doesn't make any difference. Take that off. And uh, I'll just uh, right. fold it in. Here we've got the uh, Molly Putin kit out with the tumbler. Let's just see what effects we've got. I know I said use latex for gloves, but I haven't got any. So uh, these are the finished items. Got good coverage, they look awesome. I mean, a kit like this will last you in course forever, and I can probably do 50 or 60 at a time in a container like this. Too many, and they sort of block up in the corners, but um, 50 at a time or 40 at a time. They've been in there for about, um, as I say, about three or four hours. I think that's all of them. And that is good to go again, as long as you don't spill it everywhere. And uh, I'll just take a small close-up of that. Uh, and you can see... Uh, I'll ch I, what I'll actually do is show you a before and after. Right. On the left here, you can uh, see where we've got uh, three unmollied uh, burger um, bullets. I think these are the uh, boot tail um, varmint ones and on the right there's <coughs> seven or eight that have been molly cooted so you can see the difference between the cocker jackets on the left hand side and the molly cooting on the uh, right as with everything else uh, notes are to be kept so you know what you got and what you're doing um, that's about it really if you get any questions let me know please subscribe and thank you very much for this uh, film for YouTube bye Ah! Ah!